Hey guys, how's it going? So today I wanted to actually review some of the CCNA books. I think some are sort of better than others and there's, I think there's a good way to study for the CCNA and it's not necessarily reading through the books. So I'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, so the first books that I started with were the OCG uh, CCNA official books. You guys have probably seen these, maybe have started reading them or have read them already. So I went through both of these books from cover to cover and um, I don't recommend doing that. I spent a number of months like reading through these books and by the time I was finished reading them, I didn't remember what was in the beginning of the books. <laughs> so not super great way to start to, to sort of study for the CCNA. Um, and I'll talk about a better method a little bit later. So these books, these CCNA books are, they're great. They have a lot of um, information in them, but they're really dry. Like they're hard to read. You kind of just get bored and it just feels, I don't know, like you're reading a monotone sort of like chapter by chapter, topic by topic kind of kind of thing. And it's just not very fun to read. I also have, this one is, this one's volume two, but I have both of the volumes. This is um, by Todd Lam Lamley. And this one's really great. It's way less dry. There's some humor in it. There's sort of uh, some really good examples of different like computer setups, network setups, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm really enjoying actually reading this book. Uh, it makes a lot more sense to me in a weird way even though it's like the same information. Um, so I highly recommend these books by Todd uh, Lamley. I also have the 31 days uh, official cert guide. So this one's 31 days out from your test. You're supposed to start, I guess, studying this. I took the test already once. And when I was reading this book, it took me a little bit longer than 31 days. So I would give yourself some extra time if you're gonna do that. It's good. It just kind of goes over all the main, I guess, topics and things. But what I would say really is that you don't necessarily wanna read through these books from cover to cover because there's just so much information that there's no way to sort of memorize it all. And it just gets kind of like, it's just way too much to take in all at once. The best way to study for the CCNA is to study like uh, each subject or each topic. So like say you're, you're studying Spanish Dream Protocol or OSPF, just hone in on that one specific topic and get really good at it. So like read the books, re, uh, watch the videos, make some notes on that specific topic, like really get a good grasp of what it is and, and how it works, and then move on to the next topic. So yeah, I think that's maybe the best way to do it. And uh, that's kind of my review of those of these books. So I've seen some people asking online like whether or not the CCNA is worth getting. And I would say absolutely it is. Like if you wanna know how the internet works, how routing and switching works essentially, yeah, study for the certification. It's incredible. Even if even if you don't plan to take the test or you only re read certain topics in the books, like you'll get a great understanding of how things work. So I hope that was informative. If you guys are interested in CCNA stuff, subscribe. I'm gonna put some more stuff up soon. Good luck out there and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.